creating the menu and having a game mode for the game to be played in, I proceeded to work on the actual game in a net several file. The first thing I did was take my code for movement and map generation from my technical research and put it in a unique file with P5JS to make things easier for me in the long run. Even though the code was working fine by itself, I thought I'd just run it again to see if it worked after being moved and it broke. More specifically, it turns out adding the p5.js broke the rest of the code. This meant I would need to rewrite it in a format that worked with p5.js. So to begin with, I assessed the errors caused by adding the p5.js source into the HTML. The code for gravity and clearing the previous frames of the player had stopped working, and to fix this, I changed the canvas.width and canvas.height to the p5 counterparts window width and window height, which rectified these problems. I continued to go through the code and replace any functions or identity with p5.js equivalents. After switching the main drawing functions to p5.js, I decided to test it out. And it broke. Again. Colors were not functioning correctly and the after images of the player were bad. The cause of this error was the line of code at the start of the project which defined certain functions that were not working with the implementation of p5.js functions. To fix this issue and proceed with p5.js, I removed the line of code which proceeded to break the entire project since it functioned as a backbone for the player level code. I went through the entire file replacing code that relied on the document.get by element by id line with p5.js equivalents. Once this was done, the code still did not run as there were other functions that were not operational, such as the input code. I optimized the input code by using the p5.js function key is down and replacing the function name to movement instead of input as input was already defined. I also planned on switching how collisions were registered by using p5.collide2d instead of the getTile function, so I removed the collision code from the movement for the moment and also began making the new collision code. I added the collide rex rex function in the draw function and made it so when there's a wall or a block with the value of 1, the function is given the position of the player and this value is stored in the hit variable. To finish the collisions, I created another function at the end of the code for collisions called call. That detects if hit is true and if it is, it changes the player's y coordinate and sets the player's y k to 0. I then tested the code to see if everything was work now working and since I had fixed all the errors, there should be no problem with the output. Yeah, the player was falling infinitely and whenever it hit the floor it would teleport back up to the middle of the screen. This was due to the call function I had made which reset the player's y value to 50 whenever a collision was detected so the player would be teleported back up the canvas. To fix this I passed the call function the rows of the column from the if statement and changed the value that the player's y changed to using math so it would be above the block on the floor. Once this was complete I tested the code again and everything was working fine. Or so I thought. The movement was working but when the player collided with the bottom of a block it would teleport them above it. I decided that I was too unfamiliar with P5 Collide so I'd be better off writing the collisions in a similar way to how they were originally, using the getTile function. Finally, the entire movement, collision, gravity and level generation code was complete. Since the code section was now complete, it was time to add it back to the main project with the menus. A small error I noticed was that there was a 512 by 512 blank space above the level area, but I believe the cause was in the canvas code in the HTML file, so I proceeded to insert the code into the main project file whilst ignoring this error, and since the HTML code in the main project did not include the same canvas setup, it was running perfectly. Now the code had been added to the main project and I was ready to proceed to the next iteration.